Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So Capricorn, we're going to be seeing into your love life, all right? I'm going to see what's going on. What's going on in Capricorn's love life? Show me what's going on in Capricorn's love life. All right, so you have the Eight of Wands. Show me what's going on in Capricorn's love life. Show me what's going on in Capricorn's love life. Capricorn. The Empress. Oh, wow. Oh, my. All right. So the Six of Cups, but it's in reverse, okay? Um, if you follow my channel, you know that I rarely ever get reversals. Um, so this is major, right? Something is definitely going on here. Um, but like I said, eight of wands, the empress and the six of cups in reverse, starting with the eight of wands, this is something that is coming towards you very quickly. Okay. So this is something that is about to happen. This is swift energy. This is all about action here. On the back of the deck, you have the Knight of Wands, Capricorn. You have someone coming in super duper duper soon. So prepare for that. This is someone who is um this is someone who has a lot of passion. Um, this is also, I also consider the Knight of Wands a, a fast energy as well because of the passion that this individual is carrying. This is someone who is charming. Um, you know this person, okay? Because I feel like this passion is shared between the both of you. I feel like this person has an overload of passion for you, which is why they're feeling the need to rush in, all right? Clarify the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So <laughs> notice... For some reason, you know, I'm going to be fair. It came out like this, all right? So I'm going to consider it a reversal. Um, Capricorns, I actually don't be worried because this is a good thing that it's in the reversal. If it was in the upright, the tower, um, this is things being exposed, all right? Secrets coming out. I feel like that has already happened. I feel like the tower moment, things being revealed, Anything that was done behind your back, secrets, whatever happened, it happened in the past or in the recent past. So it coming out in the reversal is saying things are finally about to re be rebuilt, okay? Whatever came crashing down, it's about to be rebuilt. And hopefully it will be rebuilt on a better foundation, all right? Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Wow. Yeah. Six of swords. So your person is coming towards you very swiftly because the tower that happened in the past caused them to realize that they need to do things differently, that in order to have a stronger bond with you, they will have to rebuild this connection on a better foundation instead of, you know, not on a foundation filled with lies, sneakiness and secrets. All right. So, wow, the cards, the messages are very clear. And there's even more confirmation because the Six of Swords came out. So with the Six of Swords, this is them wanting to move things to calmer waters with you, all right? This is them wanting to um, continue the connection. Now, the Six of Swords, I've grown to realize that the Six of Swords is also a warning message. It's saying you have two people here who are wanting to continue their journey or wanting to continue the connection, but the damage has been done, okay? You see the six swords in this boat? Think of these six swords as pain, pain caused by betrayal, disloyalty, cheating, whatever it was, this is pain, all right, that was felt in this connection, and in order for the two of you to successfully move things things forward, both of you will have to make drastic changes, especially the partner who was keeping secrets or doing things in the dark. They have to make drastic changes if they want this reunion to be successful. 
okay? Even so, on the back, you have the Hierophant. Your person wants forgiveness. The Hierophant came out, okay? So most likely, there will be an apology. They want you to forgive them for what it is that they did. Even on the back, behind the Hierophant, you have the death, okay? So the death here is all about a transformation, putting an end to the past and moving towards something new. Your person has ended a lot of things from their past and they're wanting to move towards a new beginning with you. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're going to get an apology. Page of Pentacles came out. This is them coming in very swiftly. Like I said, for most of you, this is general, but I feel like for most of you, this is them coming in. Pages represents a form of communication, okay? This is a pentacle. So this is very good and positive communication. This is communication that's going to move things forward, or at least they intend for this communication to push the two of you forward. This is going to be clarity and explanation about what, what happened. This is going to be an apology. This is very, very positive. Let's look at the Empress. Clarify the Empress. Nine of Wands. Wow. This person, they think very highly of you. My goodness. They think very highly of you. The High Priestess, the Fool. They think, wow. It's like, they know. The reason why you're coming out is the Empress. So the Empress is like a mother figure. This is someone who's very nurturing. The Empress is very powerful because people rely on her for stability, especially emotional stability. You make your person feel very secure. You make them feel good by nurturing them. And knowing that they're not on your best side, knowing that they've caused you to be upset really bothers them. All right, it's like um, the reason why you're coming as an empress, showing up as an empress, it's kind of like disappointing your mother. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you've done something bad and you have to go to your mom um, or your parent and tell them what it is that you did, that shame and that disappointment, that's what they're, they're afraid of. They are afraid of coming towards you because they think so highly of you and it's like, you're the empress. You know what I'm saying? You're going to most likely give this person a piece of your mind, you know, let them know that what they did was wrong. And because they think so highly of you, it's going to make them feel so bad. It's already making them feel bad. Um, for a lot of you, that's why it took them so long to come in because they were afraid of like you confronting them and you telling them things. Um, the Nine of Wands also emphasizes our mental health, our emotional stability, all right? So I feel like with the Nine of Wands here, this person has not been very emotionally stable um, since you left them um, because you make, like I said, you provide them with emotional stability. You make them feel very secure. Um, I feel like without you, this person has really, they've been struggling, Capricorn, with the Nine of Wands here, they've been struggling. They've been, they just, they have not been feeling themselves knowing that they disappointed you. Like, you're very powerful here with the Empress. This is the most beautiful woman in the deck. Very, very powerful. And they upset you. You even have the Fool that's here, them coming towards you, taking that risk. The Fool is a risk taker. And then you have the High Priestess. All right, so they know that you are aware of their secrets. Like I said, a tower came out um, to clarify the, the tower in reverse. So this is like things at least getting feeling calmer because what happened in the past was very um, chaotic. Okay, I can feel it. I can see it. And what happened in the past is like someone's secrets were revealed. That's why you're here as the high priestess, because they know that you are aware of some things that they did. Wow. Let's look at the six of cups, all right? Clarify the six of cups in reverse. 
If it was in the upright, you guys, this would represent a reunion, but it's in the reverse. Let's see. Clarify the Six of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Six of... Oh, wow. The Star. Okay. Um, you're not feeling very open to this person at all. Let me make sure that this is your energy. I'm going to take out the star. It was the card on the back of the deck. Show me who the Six of Cups in reverse is representing. Show me who the Six of Cups in reverse is representing. I feel like it's you. Okay, I was feeling like um, you're not open. What I was saying earlier is you're not open to this person, Capricorn. Um, and I'm sure you have your reasons, especially if they're, you know, especially if they were hiding things that got revealed to you in the recent past. Six of Cups in reverse. I feel like you've, it's like you're gradually detaching from this person. Of course, I feel like your heart still calls out for them to be honest but I feel like logically your mind is telling you to to move forward um and that's just you know the justice card came here so even if you love this person it's like I love them so much but man they betrayed me and they hurt me so badly they disrespected me so badly I feel like you're Capricorn right now it's like the heart versus the mind where even though you still have feelings for them you know that you're trying to be logically and the logical decision would be to move towards something better um it's like there's no I feel like a lot of you realize that what this person did was just like the last straw and even if you wanted to take them back you couldn't because it would it would devalue you you know because they did so much and they pushed you and pushed you and pushed you. And now look at the situation that they're in. The justice is saying that you moving forward, the six of cups in reverse definitely represents you. Definitely. I just feel Capricorns being so logical and reasonable because you're just trying to do what's fair. You're trying to do what's best for you. Okay. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the best approach. Always prioritize yourself. I see you being this justice. I see you saying, no, I'm not taking you back. That's not fair. You do not deserve me because of what you did to me. So it's like you kind of putting your mind, um, you know, over what your heart wants, going with your mind instead. Um, this is you pretty much like I said, doing what's fair. And you know that because of what they what they did to you was an injustice. And by you rejecting this reunion is justice for you, if that makes sense. Um, you have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, this is a karmic wheel. So someone here has karma. And the thing is, the Wheel of Fortune, it's saying... You either have fortune on your side or you have misfortune. It all depends on what you did in the past, what your actions were. You, Capricorn, you have fortune on your side. Don't worry. But I feel like your partner has misfortune. I feel like they have karma because of their reckless decisions in the past. They did a lot of really, I just feel it. I know the Ten of Swords in reverse didn't come out, but the Six of Swords did. This is someone who messed up repeatedly, who hurt you repeatedly. And the Wheel of Fortune is the universe intervening and saying, you know what? Something has got to end. What goes around comes right back around, right? So it's like with this Wheel of Fortune, this is the tables turning, okay? If it was a situation where you were more invested than they were, well, now the roles are going to switch. This person is going to be pretty much wanting you badly and I see you straying away from them. Um, you, look, the seven of wands came out. Yeah, you, it's like, as this person will be coming in and trying to make it up to you, you're just gonna see it as temptation. You're gonna see it as a distraction and you're not gonna be up for it. I just see you not wanting to, not wanting to continue this 
unhealthy cycle with them anymore. You're here as a seven of wands standing up against whatever it is that they will be doing to get you back in their life. And look, you have the ten of cups. All right. Their intentions are good. Um, you know, the Ten of Cups here, this is like my happily ever after card, all right? This is a person who wants a future with you. They want to settle down. They want marriage, children, all that good stuff with you. When they think about their future, they want it with you. Um, and I see them moving forward towards you. Like I said, they are going to be coming in. But the star here, this is you manifesting something new for yourself, manifesting a new beginning instead of wanting to reconnect with your past because going back to the six of cups like i said if it was in the reverse i mean if it was in the upright this is all about a person who's reminiscing about their past wanting to reunite reconnect with someone from their past but it's in the reverse so you're not wanting that anymore or by the time they come in you're not going to be wanting that anymore and the star card lastly confirms that you've been manifesting something new even when I ask who this energy is, the Ace of Swords, this is you. And the reason why is the Ace of Swords represents clarity. When you get further clarity about the situation and about what they did, man, you're not going to be interested in this person at all. And like I said, you're you're the one who's, who is this justice here. You're the one who's going to be like, you know what? No. Okay. It's time to restore balance and fairness into this situation. And I'm not letting you back in. Um, Ace of Swords, Clarity, you even have the Nine of Pentacles here, all right? This is you in that single, the Nine of Pentacles is my single energy. This is someone who is single and focusing on themselves. This is someone who's highly abundant, um, very, very accomplished, very successful. I just see you focusing on other aspects of your life and not necessarily this person, all right? So that's what I see is going on in your love life. Um, thank you guys so much, Capricorn, for watching. Please remember it's general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much, all right? Please be safe out there and have a great day.